when you think of West Virginia, you always hear the song, Almost Heaven, West Virginia. It really is. Approximately 60 million visitors come to the Mountain State each year to escape urban life and enjoy whitewater rafting, hiking, mountain biking, ATV trails, spectacular country vistas, small towns, culture and heritage, and entertainment. Tourism has grown to become one of the largest economic sectors in West Virginia, supporting over 40,000 jobs. Voices of Change, Stories of Tourism Development in West Virginia. Tucked between two ridges in West Virginia's eastern panhandle, Berkeley Springs exists because of the famous warm mineral springs of the same name. The historic town was a favorite getaway for George Washington and his colonial cronies. They came to take the waters for their health. Over the centuries, its popularity has survived wars, recessions, fires, and shifts in tastes. Today, it thrives as a popular vacation and second home community with a 21st century reputation for being cool and quirky. Berkeley Springs is, is basically founded off of a tourism industry. It was founded around the, the Warm Springs in town and uh, it's basically just built itself as a tourism community around that. At the community's heart is Berkeley Springs State Park. Four acres of village green where the springs are freely open for splashing and the water for drinking 24-7. It is the scene for popular events from the annual Apple Butter Festival to a summer concert series. Berkeley Springs has survived every one of the declines. If that park were not where it was, if the springs were not here, if there wasn't that beautiful little center of green in the middle, we would be one more West Virginia town that you drive through and don't even look at. It's the oldest spa in the country, before there were any others, ever. As always, location is key. Berkeley Springs is the center of a 100-mile circle that brings in Pittsburgh and York, Baltimore and Washington, Harrisonburg and Altoona. Countless visitors talk about gathering their families and friends and meeting in the middle in Berkeley Springs. As one popular t-shirt proclaims, Berkeley Springs, center of the universe. And I remember old Mr. Buzzard telling me on the phone, on the weekends, people would come by train, ladies, and we're talking turn of the century, or maybe 1910, in their white parasols, their white summer gowns, and just from Baltimore, wherever, would uh, come on train just to walk the park. Really, if you draw the circle, within a, uh, Pittsburgh's about three hours away, D.C. and Baltimore are both about two hours away. Yes, it makes, makes an enormous difference. And as I move around the state and talk to other people, it's one of the things that really differentiates us in the Eastern Panhandle. Makes sense for a day trip to come out here. Um, I think now we're more into the creative class economy and we promote arts and we have an art center, uh, the whole, you know, we have a small theater here, we have a lot of uh, entertainment. The most recent renaissance in Berkeley Springs was sparked by the late 20th century edition of Arts to Community Culture. Spas, fine dining and distinctive shops grew along with that new element. A close collaboration between the arts and tourism communities fanned the spark into economic success. Uh, 30, 35 years ago, there was a whole group of old hippies from D.C. These were highly educated um, artist people that came to this community that wanted to live off the land. And then they realized they couldn't live off the land all their lives, so they started opening shops, and then their kids started opening shops. Arts and tourism have to be lovers. And it really works in Berkeley Springs because the spa people, the art people, the fine dining people are the same people. The appeal of the historic town has always been heightened by the surrounding wilderness, complete with rivers, mountains, and impressive scenery. This has been sort of a country getaway, and to maintain that is not easy because people always want new and modern, and, and you know, they come here to get rid of that. Maybe 
take a float on the Cape and River or uh, uh, go swimming on the Cape and River or do some fishing. Uh, come in here, have a uh, spa treatment, uh, go home, have a glass of wine, and just sit on the front porch and chill for a while. Berkeley Springs enters the 21st century with more than 250 years of experience as a successful tourism community. It seeks the always elusive balance between what has worked and what new times and new audiences demand. The community of Berkeley Springs has and continues to experience the benefits and challenges of developing a sustainable, community-based tourism economy. As you listen to the community's story, think about these four questions. 1. What was accomplished? 2. How did they do it? 3. Who was involved? Four, what opportunities and challenges are they facing? Successful community tourism development is built on communication, partnerships, a community vision, and a long-term commitment to bring that vision to fruition. It embraces five core values. Maintaining authenticity and a sense of place, providing a quality experience, economic diversification, obstacles to opportunities, and shared benefits and local control. Community tourism development maintains a commitment to the community's authenticity and sense of place. It recognizes, preserves, and enhances the community's assets and values while remaining open to sustainable growth and change. The realness people really dig that, you know, you can go eat down here at Roy's at like a converted garage. You get some local color when you're there and it's perfect. And if, I think the authenticity is just imperative. It's really where you get to know the county. It's how I got to know the county was from the stories of the old people and the way they grew up and the things they valued and how things had changed. It, you know, the storytelling is priceless to people. <laughs> you know, people want to go home with something. They want, it's about telling stories. Travel is about telling stories when you get home. So you got to give people a good story to tell. And that's why the people in a place are really important. Whatever you do, it's got to be authentic. Because believe me, people can smell fake. Successful community tourism provides a quality experience for both visitors and residents. Visitors leave satisfied, excited to return, and eager to share their experiences. Residents maintain a high quality of life and a positive attitude toward tourism. What makes Berkeley Springs a destination is pretty simple. It's our people. It's all about customer service. We recognize that we don't have the funds to compete on a, on a, on a large scale. So we have to do it in other ways. And our strategy is to customer service. New clientele is good, it's, but if they're coming back, that's even better. And, and that's something that we focus on, and I think Berkeley Springs as a whole focuses on because those guests may only live 90 miles away, so they may come back six, eight times a year. It's definitely focused on each person. I mean, taking the time, if I have it, you know, especially Sunday evenings in here, it's a little slower and I really get to meet people and it's the personal aspect and telling stories and this and that to people. I mean, that, the engaging of the, that's, that's key in my, in my book. Tourism can be a component of a successful economic development strategy, but cannot on its own sustain the entire community. However, the amenities offered by tourism development often entice other industries and workers seeking to relocate, further strengthening the region's economic base. And we decided to open what we then called the farm-centric restaurant where we would focus on serving local food. We opened in August of 2005 with um, one farmer, Paul Mock, who started his business um, the same year. He grows hydroponically throughout the year. He at the time had three greenhouses and two products. He now has 23 greenhouses and a whole bunch of products. We have a, a homeopathic medicine company. We have a furniture manufacturer that's here. We also have the biggest West Virginia solar company here. They were definitely attracted by our community. One of the most significant portions of your tourism population are your second homeowners. And there are about 5,000 units that are qualify as vacation homes in Morgan County. So these are people who are coming here 
you know, four, six, 12, 20 times a year and are committed, they're here, they love the place. So they want to shop locally. They want to spend their money here. They want good restaurants. Um, so they're like a very important mid-layer in the total economy. Tourism is kind of our hub and there's multiple uh, uh, industries that branch off from that hub. Uh, the home-based business within Morton County, I'd say, has, has tremendously grown over the last few years. I would really love it if tourism were strong enough so that our employees could really make a living wage. And it's not strong enough for that in a business like ours anyway. I would like to see tourism become more meaningful, more, more stable financially for the people that work in it. Obstacles to growth are inherent. Successful communities recognize these obstacles, frame them as opportunities, and actively seek solutions for positive economic, social, and environmental outcomes. Uh, it's, it's taken some hits. I mean, especially now with our main focal, the country, and being shut down. Cool font we lost several years ago. And then the Woods Resort. But those three things, it's, it's difficult. We are almost a weekend-based town. You don't get to that point where I'll call it a being at full capacity until you can really have your businesses being open, you know, four or five days a week. How can we have these businesses be open, make it financially viable for the owners to keep their businesses open four or five days a week? That's a challenge. And I think the answer to that is getting back to having more conferences or business type meetings coming out here, people doing retreats and that. So what can we do for winter business? And we decided that it wasn't that we needed to create the attractions, we needed to let people know we had them. So we created this winter three month winter festival of the waters, packaged everything that was here, and created an event for each month. I think that we could maybe maybe market better our, our outdoor activities. They increased the tax from 3% to 4% and gave Travel Berkeley Springs the funds necessary to, to continue to to get the message out and market Berkeley Springs. You know, we have the Potomac River that's nearby. I'd love to see a kayak outfitter, you know, somebody doing some type of guide things. I mean, thinking outside the box. They're getting ready to put $27 million into Cucapin State Park with a uh, complete renovation and restoration of the current lodge, plus adding another 50 rooms. That's gonna be a big deal uh, in the next, next three years, I expect will have a major impact on more folks coming to our community. You know, you lose a resort and you still keep rolling and I mean, I think that's resiliency of the, of the town. Community tourism development is most effective when the community speaks with a shared voice. Partnerships, dialogue and recognition of the community's varied interests and attractions encourage local ownership and support for development and marketing initiatives. By working towards shared goals, government, business and residents can create synergies that benefit the entire community. Our people is what it takes to make a community work and, and, and I can't stress that enough. The volunteers that get involved on a weekly, monthly, daily basis. When the hotel motel tax was passed and we were able to set up a convention and visitors bureau which was a unified Convention and Visitors Bureau, and not a town one and a county one. What we're developing now is the Bath Development Authority to look at the total economy of the town of Bath to study ways to directly approach companies. When other businesses have other ideas that, that may not go along with what the town's trying to promote as a whole. If all the businesses were to come back to a centralized theme and, and work together, I, I think that Berkeley Springs would be better off. Of course, we all have different expectations for our businesses, but my customer is Julie next door's customer, is Chuck's next door to her's customer. And I think we very consciously don't have the same thing. We all have to share these people. And the better we are at it, the more they're going to come back. Local businesses, I go around, have a good relations with them, and they they would point to tourists looking around, and they'll say, "Have you been to Asia?" And that that helps us. We 
committed ourselves from the beginning to a couple of principles that we still hold to and I think are absolutely the base of our success, which was you have to market this as a destination. Everybody has to be part of the game. The community of Berkeley Springs has experienced success and challenges with tourism development. The key elements of tourism, a diverse attraction base, quality products and services, effective marketing, and strong partnerships do not guarantee success without a long-term vision, a plan, and a commitment throughout the community to make it work. We've done some things here that are quite remarkable and that people do come to Berkeley Springs all the time saying, we want to become just like Berkeley Springs. How do we do it? And those folks wanted to know, how, do you, how did you do this? How did you make a sleepy little town like this into a tourist destination? Berkeley Springs is one of the top 100 small art communities in the country. How did you do that? They just need the vision to do it, and they need to work together to do it. My daughter says, come back to Virginia with me. Mom, mm -mm. I'm going to stay right, stay put right here. Berkeley Springs has found its niche as a destination in a dynamic and rapidly changing environment. Located close to major metropolitan areas on the East Coast, Berkeley Springs has built on its historical legacy as a retreat and resort destination to create an identity and a brand that is in tune with 21st century ideals. Not only do shops and restaurants attract visitors, but so too do public spaces, events, and the areas surrounding natural beauty. As we have seen, there is a delicate balance to be maintained within the community. It's a balance that depends on reviewing and renewing the core values that have been discussed in this video. There are those in the community that recognize the uncertainty of change ahead and the need to work together to plan for the future. side.